This is Dr. James Salap at the University of Colorado School of Dental Medicine with a video snippet on wax rims for complete dentures. Armamentarium includes Bunsen burner, laboratory knife, Bart Parker knife, alcohol torch, wax spatula and Bowley gauge, ink base plate wax, and alu wax. And finally, paint fiber triad base material and cast lubricant. First, use alu wax to block out the undercuts on the maxillary and mandibular casts. On the mandibular cast, mark the crest of the ridge and a horizontal line two-thirds up the retromolar pad. Next, adapt, cure, and edge polish the pink fiber triad record base on the maxillary and mandibular model as shown. On the maxillary cast, fabricate wax rims. The thickness should be 18 to 19 millimeters from the labial frenum and 12 to 14 millimeters from the flange rim at the first molar area. A second view of the maxillary wax rim shows the rim facial to the crest of the ridge. For the mandibular arch, the anterior segment is 14 to 15 millimeters high from the labial frenum and extends to a line two-thirds the height of the retromolar pad as shown. This view shows the wax rim is centered on the crest of the ridge. The next appointment, try in the wax rims, adjust contours, determine occlusal plane and VDO, take a facebow transfer with bite registration and CR, and then mount the cast. This is Dr. James Delap with a video snippet on wax rims for complete dentures.